What's up, you guys? Slim here, Team Simichi here to finally bring you guys a new deck profile of mine. I've been doing um, a lot of my friends' deck profiles lately and trying to get, you know, just footage during the week. I figured that if I can record matches at school and do, like, other stuff uh, during the week, I'd be able to give you guys almost a daily upload even when I'm busy with school. So I figured that would be the best route. But um, today I'm here to profile my Chaos Dragons. I recently picked them up again just because I felt they were a really stable deck in the format. I said they were pro the, the second best deck in the format only losing out to wind up because wind up have the ability to go magician shark shock master and lock down and win the whole game but i think outside of that i think chaos dragons are really good this is my variant of them they're a little different than some of the variants you guys have seen um it's really standard actually because i like standard dragons because the way i've made it i can special at any time i can get my plays off whenever i want and i can protect my big monsters and that's all you really need to do in chaos dragons to win so i'm not gonna waste your guys' time i hope you guys like the profile um comment below with any suggestions because i haven't picked up this deck in, in a while so if something's missing or something doesn't look right you know please let me know because your feedback you know means a lot so anyways i'm gonna get in the profile and i hope you guys enjoy it all right you guys here we go so this is updated chaos dragons uh, pretty standard but we'll get into the uh, basics so of course you gotta have your three light pulsar dragon this is probably the best card in the deck still because its ability to resurrect red eyes or bring back dark flare is amazing you have to run three um, we also run three Dark Flare. Uh, last format, people were running only two, but now that we've lost a Red MD as a Dark Target, we need to have another Dark Flare. Dark Flare is really good too. Its effect is really broken if you combo it properly with like Eclipse and some other plays. So it's really good. Plus, you can always just tribute a monster to bring this out and then banish it for Red Eyes. So I really like it. So those are those standard six. We have, of course, the one Red MD. The card still works even though it's at one because this card. When you get this out, if you've protected it, you pretty much are winning the game because you get a free summon. It's a free sum, it's a free special, and you get to special another monster. So you pretty much win the game with this. So this card's amazing. Uh, and the last two dragons, a uh, one dark arm. This card's really live in the deck, and one eclipse wyvern. We only need one because our main target is red eyes. If we already have red eyes in hand or whatever, we get dark arm. But other than that, we don't really search any other dragons. So those are the standard nine dragons. Um, of course, our boss monsters are BLS and Chaos Sorcerer. These cards are still really good. BLS is amazing. Chaos Sorcerer puts in a lot of work, too, being a level 6. You can use its effect, banish an opponent's monster, and then use it to overlay for one of your rank 6s. So the card's still really good. And BLS is BLS. Um, we do run the, the Tour Guide, Sangin, Night Assailant Engine. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. You know, set up your plays for Sangin. Um make xyz's like levier giga brilliant zen mains whatever you need for the current situation night of silence really good too though because you can use it with raiko and you can uh you know pop an uh, opposing uh monster so it's really good um the light sworn engine is really simple three lila uh this card i mean it's your mst this card's just amazing and it helps you mill and three raiko um raiko puts in a lot of work too against uh, dino rabbit and other decks like that and being able to mill is really good plus you can hit back row which is really good so these take the place of your msts um for hand traps we run three effect failure i don't run max c because i thought about putting max c in here but at the same time i think effect failure is just a little more effective right now because being able to stop their effect in, as opposed to hopefully drawing to your out is a lot better in my opinion. Plus it's a light target and it's a tuner so you can really you know do a lot of shenanigans with it. So I really like it. I like 3 Valor. I might change it to 2 Valor, 2 Max C. Uh, depends on how the format shapes up but this is current build right now. Uh, 2 Card Trooper. This is actually my, one of my favorite cards in the deck because opening with this is amazing because um, you can use this and you know you can plus so much. You When it dies you draw a card and I mean you can set up your graveyard off this card plus throw the original ones and I haven't had originals since uh, Troop Dupe Scoop, so it's good to just have card troopers again. Um, for the last of the hand traps, we run two Trigodia and one Gores. Trigodia is fucking amazing in this deck because it gets really big. It gets like 3,000 like it's nothing. You can open with Trag really early and drop it really early, so it's really good. The ability to manipulate levels is really broken too because you can make any of your XYZs off of it. So I really like this card, and I like that you can take your opponent's monster and XYZ summon with it, so it's really good. And Gores is self-explanatory. It wins games. Uh, so that's it for the monsters. I think it's 29 monsters. Pretty standard these days. Uh, on to the spells. We don't run traps. Uh, we run the three solar recharge. People tell me to run two instead of three, but I do like three because sometimes it's good, sometimes it's good out, and I mean, you mill them if you don't need them, so... I mean, for that reason, I have to run three. Uh, I chose to run two for Ben and Lance because... I want to protect my monsters. I want to bring out a Light Pulsar or a Dark Flare or a Red MD or any of my big monsters. And if they go bottomless, I can lance it and pretty much win the game off of it. This card is just really good. And I think that the way Chaos Dragons used to be run, people main two of these. And I still like running two because it's extra protection and it acts as an MST. Um, we do run two MST as well because 
back row can be a problem. People are not afraid to set against this deck. They use def uh, D-Prison and Bottomless against this deck, and it can really hurt the deck. So these cards just really help. Plus, when you just don't draw Lila or Raikou, this is another out to their back row. Um, and then the staples, Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy, and One Charge. Charge is a staple in the deck. It, you know, you guys know what it does. Uh, so that's it for the main deck. It's 40 cards exact. I know a lot of people are going to wonder where are the Gold Sarks, where are the Pot of Dualities, and all this other stuff people run. I personally tested them, and I didn't like them. The reason being is that I don't like the idea of opening with a good hand and having to go Pot of Duality and then not being able to Special Summon that turn. I like, I mean, if you can open Pot of Duality in a Card Trooper, it's nice, but I really don't care for that. And Gold Sark, the only reason I'm not running Gold Sark is because it's only good at the start of the game. I don't find it to be beneficial at all later in the game because why would you want to wait two turns for something when you can just Special Summon your way out almost any situation? And that's the reason why I don't run either Gold Sark or Pot of Duality. Will I change the deck? I'm going to keep testing it and figure it, see what works. But I mean, for now, the deck's pretty good. The deck's pretty solid. I mean, 40 card deck, it mills, you get to your pieces. And even if you mill like big monsters, you always have Pulsar, you always have Dark Flare, and you always have ways to bring back your big monsters. So I just like the, the deck the way it is. And now just onto the extra deck. I don't have a side deck built yet, but I'd probably side Max C's, Electric Virus. Uh, Thunder King, Soul Takers, all the standard stuff you need for Chaos Dragons. But uh, on to the extra deck. Uh, for the threes, we got Zen Mains, Leviathan, Levier, Acid Golem, Tem Tempo, fucking amazing this format, and just in general. Uh, one Giga Brilliant. Um, that's it for the threes. For the fours, we got a Utopia, Mace Stroke, uh, Queen Dragon, Dijin. This card is a busted on its own. Um, Pappy, like I told everyone, you have to run Pappy. Pappy's fucking amazing. You just, you have to run Pappy. Yeah, I don't even do, you don't even need to question that. That's it for the fours. Uh, on to the fives, uh, one Tyrus and one Adrius. Pretty self-explanatory. And for the sixes, which are the best ones in the deck, we've got a Photon Strike Bouncer and an Exabeetle. The combos with Exabeetle are broken. The one where you can bring back Light Pulsar and then you use it to, you know, pop an opponent's monster and then, you know, you send it to the grave and you then pretty much can just like bring back a dragon so it's really good. And what I like about Photon Strike Bouncer is I won a game because my opponent was at 800 and I used its negating ability and burned them for a thousand. So it was, pr it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, this card is just amazing, this format, especially if you can bring it out. And this card is a really good answer to decks like Final Countdown and other decks that run like Swift Scarecrow and stuff like that. So this card was just really good. Um, but yeah, that's it, you guys. I told you guys, it's pretty standard. Um, I feel the deck is really solid, this format. And I don't know if my variant is really the best variant, but I like the ability of not having to hinder my special summons. I like the idea of I can open, set up my graveyard, and then I don't have to worry about not being able to special summon because I duality. I can just go off and get my plays out. While I think Sark is really good, I feel it's just too slow. I think that having to wait for a key card kind of sucks because if that card is something you need to win and you have to wait two turns for it, in two turns you can lose the game. So I feel that being able to make your most aggressive plays all at once is the best way to run the deck. And being able to protect your monsters with you know plenty of back row, removal, and forbidden lance is really the way to go because it saves your monsters and it really just helps you plus off of their effects. And I think Light Pulsar is probably one of the greatest cards ever invented because that card is just ridiculous. It wins so many games. Being able, I love milling a Dark Flare and a Pulsar off of Card Trooper, and I mean, it's just broken, and I feel that the deck, the deck is solid. If people don't think Chaos Dragons is solid, I mean, you need to test it to find out. I think Chaos Dragons is a really effective deck. Their worst matchup is probably Dark World and Insectors. The reason why Dark World is because Drag Down hurts the whole deck. Drag Down hurts every deck this format, pretty much, and Insectors only because... I mean, if you have the Veiler, you have the Veiler. If you don't, they're going to pop all your shit. And I mean, unfortunately, they can just keep popping all your shit regardless of the fact they only have one Horde and one Dragonfly. They'll just utilize Centipede and get more pluses on you, and then it kind of sucks. But I mean, aside from that, the deck is really solid. But let me know what you guys think. This is just my first attempt at making it again. I haven't made it since the last format, since we had Future Fusion. And I feel that with the loss of Future Fusion, using extra back row removal is the way to go because you want your place to go off. Future Fusion was a card that if you opened with, you had the game pretty much sealed. Nowadays, 
days you have to play a little more conservatively and you just get rid of the back row and you don't fear cards like Gores or Tragodia. You run over them, you, you, you steal them with Tragodia and you just use your effects to the best of your ability. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. You know, thumbs up the video. 200 plus likes would be great for another deck profile for me. I picked up a lot of decks recently. I have heroes, I have GBs, I have a lot of other decks. Um, I'm thinking of making six samurais on the side and a lot of other decks on the side. So let me know what you guys want to see. You know, comment below. Let me know if you would change anything in the main deck and the extra deck. Uh, the only card that's not in the extra deck, uh, I think you guys, if you guys counted as 14, the only card I don't have in here is Chimera Tech, only for the fact that I didn't sleeve it. I didn't want to even put it in here. But um, for side deck reasons, obviously, against Gear Gia and Machina and all that, it would be a Chimera uh, Tech. So just so you guys know. But anyways, those up the video. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the profile. And that's all I got to say, you guys. Thank you for watching.